before the week start, I'll be giving you a weekly pair forecast. This video will or lesson will help you to at least put this uh, pair in your watch list and focus on that pair because there's a golden opportunity. So every week on uh, every week before it starts, come to my videos and check the weekly pair forecast and you'll know this is the pair that has an opportunity. So let's go to GBP and SD. I've been waiting for this GBP and SD and I believe this week it will be giving us something uh, something amazing. So for us even to know what GBP and SD is about, we need to understand that GBP and SD uh, has created a very, very strong uh, support uh, resistance area where the market is not able to break uh, through. So you can see that we have how many attempts? We have one attempt, first attempt, uh, second attempt, and then the, we have the third attempt. What I've come to realize with the market, mostly if a zone is tested more than three times, sometimes the third time is the last time that zone is tested. So most of the time when the market tests three times, I don't know if I have an example, like here, uh, you can see uh, the market tested, testing this area three times, one, two, three, before it went up, you can see. So three times is mostly used like an indication for banks to know that if this area is tested three times, now we are about to go down. You can see that when this market tested first, for the first time, there was this huge candle. Oh my goodness. If you are trading back in 2016, maybe something major happened in 2016. It dropped 2,740 pips. And then once it came back in the same area in 2020, and this was the COVID time, it dropped um, 1,400. And then now this year, the market, when it touched this area, it has dropped how many pips? 1,114. So GBP and SD, uh, when it comes to drop, it can drop crazy. If it comes to buy, it can buy crazy. It has so many pips in it. So we can see for market structure is like a ranging. You can say it's an uptrend, a downtrend. For me, I'll put it as a ranging because having this a very strong support, a resistance area makes it a ranging. But when we come to check the price action, and you just check the candle. How was the market? How did the market behave? You can see sellers were very, very, very strong. They gave us even, this is a Marubozu candle. It's a Marubozu stroke, a bearish angle. So GBP and SD, we had a Marubozu candle, a Marubozu, a red stroke, a, a red, a bearish stroke, a Marubozu candle. So even we know that last month, the market was a very strong sell. But why is this market just buying? Like what made the market just buy? So we have an understanding that from the monthly time frame, the market is at the zone, a very strong resistance. The price action is a bearish Marubozu candle. And then um, when you go to weekly now, you, you will find that there was a support break. So we had a BOS here. And once the market breaks a, a place, automatically it will come back to that area. This is a strategy that I call ADS strategy. ADS strategy means after deep retracement, if a market breaks a certain area, the market will still come back. If you want me to teach you on ADS strategy, comment down below. If at all we reach a thousand, a hundred thousand subscribers, I will teach you. We, we are remaining with like 30, what? 34,000 people. So if you can make, you can make this video shareable and you share and maybe we get to 100,000 subscribers, I can show you. ADS is a very, very strong, strong uh, strategy. ADS means after deep retracement signal. So once the market breaks this area, this is the way the market will come back here. So for me, I know for sure, I don't know when, but even if this, mar this market will come down here, it might continue going up. But what I know is that for, for some time, it will eventually come down. So it's us to be alert when will it come down. So let me first delete everything so that we can have a very clear chart. So like I'm saying, the support is broken. If you can't see that support is broken, let me show you clearly. That support is broken. Can you see that support is broken? So the market broke support and the buyers are coming up for three good weeks the market has bought. And the way I tell people, uh, if the market wants to change, it takes three weeks or three days or three months before it goes down. So, and you can see maybe the fourth week, the, the momentum will not be much. So it takes 
uh, it takes the number three a lot. So we are hoping next week the market will start shifting. And if this market can come down, this market can come down, trust me, these are so many pips, almost 500 pips. So we are looking for 500 pips. But for us to trade a downside, to trade a sell, you need to ask yourself, if I want to trade, to trade a sell, what do I need? I need a pattern. I need a double top. So for me to trade a sell, I need a what? I need a double top and I need an inverted what? Inverted cup and handle. And I need a what? Ranging break at support. You see, so I need those those patterns. So for me, I will be open minded to lead, to to check. Do I have a double top? Do I have inverted cup in hand? Do I have? So if you only remain on weekly, your chances for a double top will be this area. So this is your area. So, and you can see there are so many pips. And I'm not saying the market cannot stretch. It can. It can stretch to that area, but are so many pips. So what we need to do is to go to lower time frame. So when we go to daily. When you go to daily, we can see that we had a, a double bottom. Guys, I don't know if you can see this double bottom. We had this double bottom, very clear double bottom with a neckline. This is the neckline. And the market has uh, broke the neckline and it has completed the double bottom. Can you see? So the double bottom was a very, very easy trade and the market has completed. What I know for, for sure, when the market completes a pattern, if the market completes a pattern, it goes back to the neckline. And I want you to follow this. This market has higher chances of coming down there. So if the market ever completes a pattern, it always go back. So if you didn't know, comment down below, now you know. So GBP and SD, because it has finished a double bottom pattern, and this pattern, it didn't have any obstacle. Like, we didn't have any obstacle for this pattern not to work. So it was an easy trade. And the market has will drop here. And you can see this that zone where the market can form a double bottom. So I'm saying when the market finishes a pattern, it most probably comes down back there. Now, because there's, no, yes, we know it can come here, but of course, if we know it will sell, we are still using the three patterns, a double top, inverted cup and handle, or a ranging break at support. Now let's go to four hour. Let's try it and go to four hour. So when you go to four hour and you're thinking where the market is right now, where this market is, you see where this market is? If I go, if I stretch back like that, I have a what? I have a possible double top. Well, this is what we have been checking. So I will delete now everything. I'll delete everything. And guys, I show you what I have. So now we're in four hour. Note what I've said. Daily it has finished a pattern. And once patterns finishes, it goes back to the neck to the neckline. So here we have a double, a double top. And um, if that's our double top, where is our neckline? This is our neckline, guys. That's our neckline. And if that's our neckline, where is our half? So we can see our half has been, has the, the RBS. So I have RBS at half. So meaning that this uh, market is very, very, if it gives us an entry, it will be a very, very strong sell. So we have RBS there. So this is what I want you to do. I want you to open your chart, go to GBP and SD on four hour, and you will note we have that double bottom, double top, possible double top. So we have this possible double top, and then we have our neckline. Neckline is here. And then we got our half. Then we have our half. So guys, what we need to see from this trade, we just need to see uh, which strategy do we use for possible double top? Be before even we ask ourselves, uh, oh, do we have possible double top? We just need to know, is this double top available on the daily or weekly? Do we have it? Is it available on the daily, on the weekly? Because I told you, for you to have an upper hand, you need a pattern to 
uh, a pattern that is only on one time frame to support you. So if we go to daily, is it there? Do you think it is there? No, it is not there. So I'm giving you a pattern that you will trade the, this coming week. It's not there. Is it on the weekly? No, it's not there. Is it on the monthly? No, it's not there. So it's only on four hours. So that double top is a very, very strong double top. So the only way you will enter this double top if it, if it is, you use which strategy on four hours? Most on double top, we use CSB. So we will use CSB strategy. So we will use CSB strategy. So once you use CSB strategy, what you do now, CSB means current support break. So we are looking for a support. Guys, I don't know if I've done a lesson on how support is formed, but if you, if you don't know and you have not done the lesson, a support forms when a red candle uh, is followed by a green candle. So when you have a red followed by green, automatically you have a support. So in short, what we are trying to say is that if the market breaks, breaks this area, you see, if the market breaks here, if the market breaks here, we have a sell all the way, all the way, guys. Now you need to note that yes, we have this sell all the way down, but there are some obstacles on the way. So these obstacles, you will pay attention because the obstacles can form a new pattern. So I'm not saying it can come directly like this. These are some of the things that you will put in mind. You'll keep in mind. The market can come there and get rejected. It can come there. So your work is to wait for the market to do what? To break so that you can continue holding. If it gives you, you know, the market, the price can drop here and then buyers red and then they break that resistance, you should cancel the trade. So we will observe how double bottoms work is here, the current resistance break. So if current resistance happen here, you will cancel your sell trade and enter buy. But don't, don't fear these obstacles. They are there for people to fear, not to hold the trade all the way. So if we go back to daily, if we go back to daily, you see where our half is, is exactly where the neckline is. So they have known because the pattern has completed where the half of the double top on the four hour is, is exactly where the double bottom neckline is. So as the market is dropping, it's fulfilling the, the way the market moves after a pattern is completed. And I like I told you, the market, because it broke, it has to come here. And this is the neckline. So they have a reason why the market will be selling. So all the best in this trade. I hope you will make money. My desire is for you guys to make money. Uh, that is my number one desire. So we are hoping for us to sell GBP NSD. We are hoping New Zealand will gain uh, more power because when you sell uh, GBP NSD, it means that the quote is stronger than the base. So we are hoping that New Zealand is getting new power. So go and check if we have NSD news uh, this coming week so that you can be able to trade. I've given you a full analysis on GBP NSD. Comment down below and say, I will I have added GBP NSD on my watch list and I'm ready to analyze GBP NSD. And let's see if it breaks We'll be by there. We'll be reviewing every single week. We'll be reviewing the pair we are focusing on. So this week we are only focusing on GBP and SDS, yes, the other pairs, but I think this is the ripest mo moment. There are sometimes, yes, we have this double top and the market keeps going up. There's a way the market can break and come here. So I'm not, I have not said that that is the overall. It can break and come here. It can still break and come here. So for you, you need to understand if they break that resistance, they will come and activate the next. So don't be glued because on Monday, the market can open and activate here. It can still continue and break here. So you just need to continue checking the double top that they will activate because this is not a right away trade. These are trade that you need to wait. So the market can still activate the two. The only time we know that the market will not go up if they break, if they start breaking, we already know that that market is not breaking in any other further like on the resistance. So because I've given you this trade, again, once the entry is given, use proper risk management. Don't over risk your account of $10, 20 50 $100. And then you keep inboxing me. Do we hold GBP and SD? Do we hold? No. What I, have, I tell people is that once you enter a trade, enter with proper risk management that you can be able to manage your trades, even if, the worst comes worse, you are able to either come out or exit. So don't 
the, the thing of overrisking is not it's not right at this moment. Don't overrisk because we need to learn. We need to know how do we treat such a pattern and such a setup. And then once we get the idea and the knowledge, we are able to do what we are able to, to duplicate in other setups. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. All the best in your trading week. Um, may God open your eyes. May you receive his grace, his knowledge, his wisdom. May you be able not to make mistakes this week. I decree and declare that as you are trading, the, the mind of Christ will be new. The wisdom of Christ will be new and you'll be able to trade without any error. Anytime that you enter in a trade, I cancel the spirit of fear that comes to tell us that we should close the trade. And I pray that you may be you may be excellent also when you're trading. Thank you so much and I love you. Bye-bye.